Palace, yeah. obviously, you know, now I've done my scholar there. Mm-hmm. Done my pro. Made my debut at 17 yeah. against Bristol. Uh-huh. You know, when I think about that game, yeah, till this day, you know, you know, um, Space Jam? Yeah. Mm. You know when they turn into the Giants yeah, and yeah. you the got... Stars. Yeah, the All-Stars and they're just big and you're just tiny. I yeah. felt like, what's that little bird, man? <laughs> <laughs> Daffy Duck. No. Yeah, or the, the little bird, the little... Feeny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bro, they were... They, like, every time I picture that game, I, f- I feel like a midget. Every time you... Your first man's game, you yeah. do feel like a midget. Yeah. I feel like everyone like, was like seven foot. Bro. Yep, yep, I agree. And coming out of tunnel thinking, why is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you got, you got, and then you got, what's his name that was at Arsenal with you? Is it J. Emmanuel Thomas? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was doing the mad. When I saw that, I said, bro, I don't think I'm ready for this. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for this. But it's like when you go train with the first team the first time, everyone looks huge, bro. Like, yeah, it's like, true. It's like that thing and then you gradually grow into yeah, it. Yeah, that's not even talking do you know, about. Do you know what's weird in that situation team. though? People are like, yeah, mark the big man. You know, oh, like, when you come up, they're my... saying to you, mark the big man. I'm yeah. thinking, bro, because hmm? they're looking at you, you're not small, but in your head, you're thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. This tall. Is tall, you know, yeah. pinning it, doing the mad thing. I'm thinking, yeah, this is long. Then I went to Forest Green for a month. That was that was good, that was good. I enjoyed that, but that just messed up. I was supposed to stay there, then the manager's telling me. Our game got cancelled, so I said, should I go back? He said yes. So, obviously, I packed, I'm young. I packed up all my stuff getting back to the end. Mm. Got back. He said he was going to call me over the weekend, and he didn't. Then I'm getting grilled at training. Why didn't I go back? I said, well, no one told me to go back. You get me? Yeah. And then my first proper league loan was um, South End. That was good, man. We got oh, promoted yeah. in our first season through playoffs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. First time going women. I didn't play. Didn't make the squad, but. It was really good. It's a good experience, isn't yeah. it? That whole season playing men's football and yeah, I thought I thought I'd done well. Yeah. Mm. And then, like you said, I went to Burton the year after. That was good under Jimmy, but oh, Jimmy's on this running thing, man. <laughs> you know, we're flying though, innit? Yeah, we was doing well, but I only was there for, till Christmas, bro. Yeah. Because obviously, Jimmy can't, and then you yeah. got that now Clough banner that come in and. So I telling, telling Mark Bright that I play too relaxed. Yeah, boy, we're gonna when have a conversation t- about that. Oh, what does that what does that mean, bro? I don't know, you know, because when they say you play too relaxed, how did how do they come to the understanding that you play too relaxed? Isn't that a good thing? That's what I thought. That's what, what they want you to be too. G-E-G-E-G. That's, what, that's what I thought. But he done me though. Mm. He done me like a kip up. To this day, I still laugh about it. Mm. When he told me it was Christmas time, obviously he brought me into one change room, yeah. And I'm standing there looking at him. He's like, oh, obviously, like, do you miss your family? So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I've been in the hotel for like three months. They had me in the hotel for three months. Mm. So I'm like, yeah, 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 I do. He's like, all right, then, you know, um, you can go back, go back home for Christmas. Um, so I'm like, at first, I was like, oh, yeah? He's like, yeah, yeah, go home. Go home for Christmas, you know, spend it with your family. Then I th- then I looked at him. I said, but what about the game boxing? He's like, nah, 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 nah. I'll, I'll give you a call if I need you. I looked <laughs> at him. I was like, do you know what? I was like, all right. You know what time it is, it? Yeah, I was like, cool. But I'm thinking, all right, cool. You don't want me in the squad, so I'm going to come back, innit? Right. Well, as I got... As I got back to the hotel, I'm getting a call from, from Palace saying, oh, yep, yeah, they don't want you there anymore. They're cancelling your loan. And I'm just thinking, why didn't you just tell me that in the yeah. first place? You get me? Wasting mm. petty coming up here. Petty? <laughs> but I was even driving them times, bro. <laughs> Train. Yeah. I, I think my ma Dutes come and got me that. My I God. called her. She drove all the way up because I had bare clothes, didn't it? Mm. So... I was not luggering, lugger, luggering with that on the train. You get me? Yeah. yeah. So she she came down, and that. But it's just like I don't understand why you just wouldn't tell me that to my face at the time, innit? Proof, but it's it's we say it about football all the time. How how hard it is to find someone that's actually being truthful with you? Because mm. how many honest managers or honest people have you met in football that will just tell you the truth to their face, to your face? You know what I mean? Uh, Jimmy. No. 
Jimmy. I know one, Jimmy. Jimmy told you the truth to your face? Yeah. But did he tell you the truth to your face and others the truth? Like, will everyone have a different story about someone? That's the thing. Maybe, though. maybe, maybe. But th- that that's all depends on if the manager feels you then. Mm. Because if the manager don't like you, then he ain't, he's just going to say whatever to you, isn't it? Right? right, right, right. And if he does rate you or has a bit of respect for you, he's going to tell you, he's going to tell you the truth, isn't it? Mm. You, that's what I. That's for. how I see it. You'd hope for, but I, it, this is my and my issue with the industry is mm. the respect factor. Because surely, as just a man, you respect me. Clearly not, though. I, I would want you to respect me as a man because I have to respect you as a man because of your position, not because as the man, just because your position is higher than mine. I got to. Yeah. It's in the guidelines to respect nah, you if you're the you're... manager, but that's where it comes into play, like the respect factor. Just have enough respect to be honest with me mm. and truthful with me and tell me, okay, cool, I don't want you here. Yeah. Don't waste my time telling me you want to go home for Christmas and give me riddles. Oh, I'm not, I, and I don't like riddles. You know this. <laughs> I struggle with them. <laughs> I struggle with them, my bro. Yeah. So when he was saying that, I was just looking at him. And me, you know how I am. Mm. And do you know what? Them times there, yeah, I wasn't as now. If a manager bucks me now, if any of them managers buck me how I am now, uh huh, it's over for them mm. because I'm just telling you straight. You're just chatting. Yeah. You get me. This is what I mean. They take advantage of like young boys, man. Paul, that sounds crazy. <laughs>